Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to discuss the steps and from converting octal to decimal. Now, when you're converting octal to, to decimal, what you're really doing is converting base 8 to base 10, since octal is base 8, decimal is base 10. So here's an example on how to do that. Suppose you want to convert 365, which is octal, or base 8, to decimal form. Now notice I didn't th say 365 because that would be in base 10, but 365 in base 8 is what we want to convert to base 10. Now, what you want to consider is the placeholders of these things. What, decim what places are they in? Now what you want to do is typically start with the, uh, the one on the very, very right, the smallest base for base 8, and that's going to be 8 to the 0 power. The one that's over is 8 to the 1 and one over here is 8 to the second. Now, if we were to go further, we would have larger powers of 8. Now, where you want to do after that is take each place and then multiply by the corresponding power. So what you do is you take 3 and you multiply by 8 squared. You take the 6 and you multiply by 8 to the first. And then you take 5 and you multiply by 8 to the 0. Now, what you want to do is you know, simplify some of this stuff. This would be 3 times 64, then it would be 6 times 8, and then this would be 5 times 8 to the 0, as you know, is 1. Now, 3 times 64, that's going to give you 192. The 6 times 8 is 48, and then 5 times 1 is going to give you 5. Now, what you do after that, you simply is you add all those numbers, and whatever result that you have is going to be the number in its equivalent form in decimal or base 10 form. So the bottom line is you take each placeholder, multiply by the corresponding value of base 8, and then simplify, and then you add, and whatever number you get is going to be your final answer. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's the steps to converting octal to decimal.